Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Reverend Angela Peverell. Today we remember St Francis of Assisi. I'm a third order tertiary and it's an honour to be praying with you this morning. I'm Reverend Angela Peverell and I'm the priest in the parish of Musselbrook in New South Wales. Musselbrook worships on land that has been traditionally cared for by the Wanarua and the Kamilaroi peoples. And so we pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about St Francis of Assisi, also known as the Poverello or the Poor Little Man. And he's one of the most venerated and well-known religious figures in history. Probably there is no one in history who set out as seriously as did Francis to imitate the life of Christ, to carry out so literally Christ's work in Christ's own way. And this is the key to the spirit of St Francis and helps to explain his most reverent veneration of the Eucharist or Holy Communion. St Francis was a saint, a lover of nature, a social worker, an itinerant preacher and a celebrant of poverty. Francis considered all nature the mirror of God. He called all creatures his brothers and sisters and in some of the most endearing stories about him, Francis, Francis preached to the birds. He even persuaded a wolf to stop attacking the people of a town and their livestock if the townspeople agreed to feed the wolf. In his Canticle of the Creatures, Francis referred to Brother Sun and Sister Moon. And above all, his deep sense of brotherhood under God embraced his fellow humans, for he considered himself no friend of Christ if he did not cherish those for whom Christ died. Francis established the First Order, the Brothers of St Francis, and then later, the Second Order, the Poor Clares with Clare of Assisi. And then later he established the Secular Order or what we know in the Anglican Church as the Third Order of the Society of St Francis, of which I am a tertiary of the chapter here in Australia and Asia Pacific. And so we give thanks for the life and witness of St Francis of Assisi and for all that he has brought to our experience of worship and prayer and also our deep appreciation for God's magnificent creation. And as we say at the beginning of the daily obedience in the Third Order, here in your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Let us pray. God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle this morning is the song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. Night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 130. Out of the depths I have called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, should note what we do wrong, who then, O Lord, could stand? But there is forgiveness with you so that you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord. 
my soul waits for him, and in his word is my hope. My soul looks for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning. More, I say, than watchman for the morning. O Israel, trust in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him there is ample redemption. He will redeem Israel from the multitude of their sins. Creator, Spirit, Advocate, promised by our Lord Jesus Christ. Increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence. To the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from Luke's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. And it's the story of the Good Samaritan. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbour as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road and when he saw him, he passed on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to that place and saw him, passed on the other side. But a Samaritan, while travelling, came near to him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper and said, Take care of him, and when I come back I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbour to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, The one who showed mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The morning canticle is the song of Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Our canticle this morning, our first canticle, will be the canticle for the Feast of St. Francis. Most High, Omnipotent Good Lord, grant your people grace to renounce gladly the vanities of this world, that following in the way of Blessed Francis, we may, for love of you, delight in your whole creation 
with perfectness of joy. O oh God, you have made us and all living things. You are even more wonderful than what you have made. We thank you for giving us our pets to bring us joy. And as you take care of us, so also we ask your help that we may take care of those who trust us to look after them. By doing this, we share in your own love for all creation. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And the collect for the 19th week after Pentecost. O oh God, your Son has taught us that we must receive your sovereign rule like a child. Help us to turn to you in faith and in simplicity of heart, so that we may receive your blessing and enter the kingdom your Son has promised. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, living and true, you are love, you are wisdom, you are humility, you are endurance. Trusting in your providence and presence, we pray for an end to this pandemic. We pray for your strengthening of all those committed to offering costly leadership at this time. We pray for those who are ill, for those who are anxious about getting ill, and we remember those who have died from COVID-19. Acknowledging our human fragility, we pray for your grace to sustain us to do whatever we can to end this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, living and true, you are rest, you are peace, you are joy, you are gladness. You are justice and moderation. You are our riches, you are suffice for us. You have gathered us, your body, the church, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. We pray your blessing upon Peter, our bishop, upon Sonia and Charlie, his assistant bishops, and for all who minister in your church, both ordained and lay. We pray for our parishes in the Diocese of Newcastle. Fill us with your spirit of wisdom, understanding, righteousness and faithfulness. Transform our gatherings to your glory and perfect our worship to your praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, living and true, you are beauty, you are gentleness, you are our protector. You are our guardian and our defender. You are our courage. You are our haven and our hope. We pray for peace, justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. We pray for all who are in leadership in this nation of Australia and especially those in health and medical services. We pray for those who are serving in testing and vaccination clinics, for all of our emergency services personnel. We pray for our Prime Minister Scott for our outgoing Premier Gladys and thanking her for her most dedicated service to this state, particularly during a crisis, and for her successor. We pray for our local members and we pray for our mayors and our councils in our LGAs. Grant our leaders and their advisors wisdom and decisions that are, made, that are marked by care for the vulnerable and concern for integrity and justice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, living and true, you are faith, our great consolation. You are our eternal life. Great and wonderful Lord God, almighty, merciful Saviour. We pray for those who are in need or, or adversity. Bless those who are sick, those who are injured or dying. Grant them healing, peace of mind and spirit, and a faith that looks to you for life. We pray for those who are bereaved, for those who are anxious, for those who struggle with addictions. We pray for those who live with chronic illness, that you will restore their health, hope and joy. We give thanks for those who bring comfort, care and healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Lord God, living and true, bless those who are terminally ill and dying, that they will know your presence in the midst of their trouble. Grant them healing, peace of mind and spirit, and a faith that looks to you for life. We remember before you those who have died recently and those whose anniversary of death occurs at about this time. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Gracious and eternal God of love, bring your radical and scandalous healing peace into our midst. Touch us with your love and your joy, for we ask this in the name of the one who ever calls us forward, Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen. <laughs>